Well, hello and welcome to Suntory's ultimate Christmas event. It's so great to have so many of you logged in already and watching, and I know some of you are gonna watch this later on. My name's Lucia and I'm your host for today, and I'm joined by our expert mixologist, Tim. Hi. So welcome, Tim. Thank you very much. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Uh, so we've got so much on midday, it's time for a drink, right? So let's it's get on with the definitely time for a drink. Cocktail. First what cocktail. What have we got, Tim? So before we get into actually making the cocktails, what we're gonna do is run through, make sure you've all got everything everything you need to make them. Um, the classic is just rum, lime juice and sugar shaken up and served however you like. This one has the added bonus of having Ribena in it. So you know we're basically what? tweaking it. That's so it. exciting. Ribena was like my favourite <laughs> drink as a kid. And now, I know. Obviously not Ribena daiquiri. That would, that would be a bit weird. <laughs> so it's basically like a grown up um, blast back to your childhood, which Brilliant. I'm really excited Stop. about. Go straight into it. So we're going to use the rum um, that you've got in front of you. And this is a 50 ml measure of the rum, um, but you can also just pour the whole bottle into the <laughs> shaker. Just go for it, guys. You just have Why to not? trust that the people who uh, um, uh, filled the bottles um, were, weren't too generous with it. Um, otherwise, you might have a, a very boozy afternoon. That's right, it's all pre-measured. Yeah, we hope that nobody's got anything planned for the rest of the day after this Christmas event. So, ideal rums, you want to look at a white, a white rum ideally for a daiquiri. Um, so, something like a cruise and rum would be fantastic. So once you've got your rum in there, you want your lime juice. So your lime okay. juice is um, 25 mils or one shot or half of the little bottle that you've got in front of you. Makes sense. So you can basically do that one by eye. That's, yeah, exactly. You know, and I guess it's all down to personal taste, isn't it, as well? You're sort of doing the, the basic measures. Yeah. But if you prefer a bit more lime juice, I suppose you can always add that in. After yeah, absolutely. So we've all got different palettes. So yeah. this is a kind of framework recipe. Um, so um, once we've kind of done the making of it, um, then we can have a little taste. And if you want to add a little bit more sugar to it or add a little bit more Ribena to it, which we're about to put Ooh. in now, um, okay. then you can. Um, and if it's, uh, now we're gonna do a double shot of this Ribena. Now I've, uh, in very, very Blue Peter style, already opened this. <laughs> uh, and I'm very pleased I didn't just pour it all over my. Yeah, and I would, I would recommend not opening it from the little um, <laughs> hole that the straw goes in because that tends to go everywhere. It's fine so, if you're doing yeah, it from a bar. Yeah, if you just snip off the, uh, the side of it, so that would be best. 50 mils of the Ribena goes in, that's fantastic. I hope everyone's um, following this. So, at home. now we're gonna get to the exciting bits. Ooh. We've gotta get shaking. Now, now you'll notice I didn't put the um, ingredients over the ice. What we want to do is control the dilution as much as possible and add the ice only once we've uh, stuck all the liquid in. Here we go. Let's okay, get... so it really is important, like the order in which the um, ingredients go in, as to the taste of the drink, I suppose. Um, it's um, the only. So it doesn't matter which order you put the rum, lemon, the lime juice, those right. kind of things in through yeah. the ingredients again, just so you've got it. But. Um, cheers, everybody! First cheers. off, um, I'm going to um, put this just there. This is this is the best bit. There of, you go. Uh, of today. Um, and so, just to recap on those ingredients, that's two shots of the rum, one shot of the lime juice, and 50 mils of Ribena, and you've got about five mils of the sugar syrup in there as well. Okay. Now, at the point of tasting um, the the cocktail, um, if Not you feel like, <laughs> <I'm> like <laughs> you I'm dive waiting. in and taste it. <laughs> okay. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Oh wow, yeah. that's that's really zingy actually. It's that. I was acidity. thinking it would be more sweet, but it's yeah. nice. It's not too sweet. It's um, it's definitely the right balance. That's lovely. So really hopefully nice. should be because this is a, a this this cocktail is in the category um, called a sour. So we use as a kind of framework a kind of basic about stuff. what you can do to make your cocktails delicious for you. Yeah, exactly. Um, and it's and like you say, it's all a per it's a personal taste thing. And we yeah. have had a question in from somebody, and they said, um, oh, are we able to use something other than rum? So I guess like any another spirit, maybe vodka or, um, or absolutely or something like that. I'm That's sure a brilliant question, and um, thank you very much for yeah. that. Um, so the the beauty of something like a, a sour ratio um, is that you said it's from the the sort of sours yeah. family of cocktails, shall we say? So what does that? Um, what are the other ones? What are the so, other types of cocktails that you can get? Yeah, great question. So um, the the kind of general sour things is the, uh, uh, um, the it's the biggest category of cocktails. So My you've got, and uh, I suppose drinks. like caipirinhas and caipirinhas, things like that as well. Yeah. That would be a sour. And it's anything that's like got that kind of like mm, tangy Real kind, kind of, tang. of taste. Yeah. yeah. So if you're doing it at home, there's um, a, it's really really good to 
um, uh, use this ratio. So the basic sour ratio, two shots of booze, one shot really, of really pump it up. You're basically making a kind of hardcore Bloody Mary. Yeah, so basically um, yeah. What, whatever's in your cupboard, you know, get the yeah. ketchup out, the brown <laughs> sauce, mayonnaise. Yeah. I'm only joking. I'm um, up for it. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> so we've um, had another question mm. and they're asking from, I think this is from Craig. Um, would a different flavour of Ribena work? Because as, as you guys all know, there's lots of different flavours that you can get. Yep. You can get a peach version and, yeah. you know, look, well, how would that work? Would you yeah. change the spirit in that case? So the key bit is the, um, the, key bit is the sugar really content. Good. Yeah, the it's exciting because it gives you lots of, lots of different variation. Yeah. And also, you know, you make it personal to you as well. So, I mean, I think we've been talking about this cocktail for a while now. Yeah. And I don't know whether <laughs> everybody's already finished theirs. Yeah. Um, but let's have another masterclass at how to create our next next cocktail which is high octane the high octane which, is, cocktail. which sounds very exciting so we've started off with something quite 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 simple quite strong and quite refreshing with the zinginess um this next cocktail um is another variation of a uh, but cocktail again spread. remember before we shake we don't want any loose stain in there because obviously it's it's fizzy, it's carbonated, and it could yeah. go everywhere. So we don't want to be responsible. Okay. Now, right. a, a note about the shaking. If you are not looking slightly ridiculous when you're shaking, you're not shaking hard enough. We it's really with the with the different types of Ribena, you know, using the different flavours. There's obviously different types of flavours yeah. of Lucasade as well. So this is something that you can mix yeah. and match and try whatever you want and whatever mm. other fizzy drinks you have in, in your fridge as well. Yeah, the cherry Lucasade works really, really well in this as well. So, Ooh, uh, nice. Um, yeah, nice little tub. So you tried yeah. all of these before? Of the course I've tried all of them. <laughs> I tried them all for breakfast and yeah, uh, uh, yeah we yeah. do not recommend uh, drinking these for breakfast of course it's, it's lunchtime now depends so what time you wake perfectly up perfectly acceptable yeah. oh what we wanted to mention as well was um, we know that some of you have got your non-alcoholic um, mm. packages through as well so in terms of the flavours and um, what they've received there what's the what's the difference obviously apart from the alcohol yeah so um, um, the uh, we're in a wonderful way it's just fantastic, with no alcohol. Isn't it, it's really? great yeah. it's brilliant yeah. so we've had another question in here guys um, from Lexi and she said Hello, Lexi. I hope you're enjoying the drinks. Um, to make the drinks more festive, could we use Bailey's or Advocar in any of them? So oh. Advocar, I remember this. It's one of it's that um, yellow spirit in like a yeah. clear bottle, isn't yeah, it? It's a, Made of egg yolks. Is that right? Yeah, it's, it's really amazing. Kind of giving you guys yeah. free reign to be able to you know mix and match and create your own types of cocktail that yeah. absolutely match with your own personal taste. And I've d I'm just checking on Instagram here as well. We have got the hashtag. Hashtag happy hour with XCOM. So please do send us in some pictures because we'd love to see your creations. Okay, so we've got next our final cocktail yeah. is bathtub lemonade. It is the bathtub lemonade. Now bathtub, bathtub lemonade. worries me a little bit because uh, you know <laughs> in these uh, in these times we yeah. don't want to be sharing bathtubs. We don't um, want to be sharing bathtubs, no. Yeah, why why the name bathtub, Tim? Um, well, um, it's <laughs> it kind of goes back to the kind of the or origins of how a lot of spirits were made. Um, is the hashtag so. Yeah, I guess all there is to do is say thank yeah. you so much to you, Tim. Thank you. Thanks, today Tim. For, and, uh, thank you and uh, we hope that you've really enjoyed watching um, at home as well. I hope that you're going to go on and have a very happy yeah. Christmas too. For